Welcome to Solar Reviews Labs. I'm your host, Ben Zantera. And in the studio today, I have two batteries from the EcoFlow company. Here's a little bit about EcoFlow. They're based in Shenzhen, China. They were started about seven years ago by some engineers from the DJI drone company who were looking to uh, make a battery that could recharge their drones in the field, but they split off from DJI and created this EcoFlow company. They maintain their own Facebook and subreddit groups where officials from the company can come and interact with the people. There's everything from like raving fans all the way to people complaining bitterly about how the products don't work. But usually people get their problems sorted out and uh, everything works out just fine. Uh, it's kind of a great way to build community and the best battery companies have these kind of social groups like that. So now let's talk about each individual battery. All right, this little guy is the River 2 Pro. Uh, let's turn it on. Pops up cool little animated feature there that shows you that it's 100% charged. It's got 768 watt hours of storage and can put out up to 800 watts uh, and it can surge up to 1600 watts. So if you need to start a large appliance like a microwave or maybe a tea kettle, it can surge for just a few seconds and then it has to go back to 800 watts max. All right, let's take a look at the inputs and outputs. This guy, it's the back. This thing can charge from up to 220 watts of solar through the DC input. It can charge from up to 936 watts in the AC input. And yes, there's no power brick here. The AC input is just a cord. Uh, so you just plug the cord into the wall, plug it into here. No big power brick, no giant thing to carry around. If you do the math, this thing can charge from zero to full in about 50 minutes, maybe an hour. It also can charge from USB-C at 100 watts from the front panel. And this is an input or output USB-C. And finally, it can charge from the DC output of a cigarette lighter through that same DC port in the back. It goes 12 or 24 volts at up to eight amps, or that's about 200 watts. As far as outputs go, we've got four three-prong AC ports on the bottom that you can switch them on and off using this button. Make sure that when you're running this battery, you uh, switch them off if you're not using them because it will draw about a percent per hour of power just leaving it on. It also has these DC outputs that you can switch on and off. Uh, it's got one cigarette lighter output and two barrel outputs that are the uh, 5521. Finally, we've got a section of three USB-A ports and one USB-C, again, input or output of up to 100 watts power delivery. Inside are uh, lithium iron phosphate, that's Life PO4 batteries. They can do 3,000 cycles before the capacity is reduced to about 80%. Comes with a five-year warranty, so that's about one and a half cycles per day. And also, this guy can be controlled by the EcoFlow app over Bluetooth. All right, we've got the EcoFlow app here. I'm gonna take a look at some of the cool functions. First of all, you pair your River 2 Pro via Bluetooth, and once it's in your app, you can open up the settings screen uh, this screen just shows you the total state of charge, how much time is remaining, and whether you're inputting or outputting things via AC. You can also turn on your AC and DC outputs on the unit. But the real meat is in the settings menu, where you can do things like change the name from this mix of letters and numbers. Let's call this guy Little Boy. You can share your device with someone else in your family if they also have the EcoFlow app. They can also control the same battery you can. Uh, energy management allows you to limit the state of charge or discharge that you uh, would prefer. This will help you preserve the battery life um, or you can prevent it from discharging so much that you lose all the uh, available power if you need to take it on an emergency run. And speaking of emergencies, if you want to set a reserve limit for backup power and say, don't let the battery discharge past a certain point, you can do that here as well. Uh, back into the main settings menu, you can actually adjust the AC charging speed. And again, this is for uh, battery maintenance and making sure it has a longer life. You can reduce it from the 940 watts possible all the way down to 100. There you go, so it's at 150 right now. If you prefer to have like a longer overnight charge, that will help preserve some of that battery life. Uh, you can select whether you want four, six or eight amps from your car input. You can also select DC mode uh, from solar recharging to car recharging, but it's set by uh, default to auto. So finally, we got the X-Boost feature, and X-Boost is on by default. It helps start large appliances, uh, such as hair dryers, toasters, microwaves, power tools, but it shouldn't be used for sensitive electronic devices like laptops, phones, and other things like that. It'll tell you in the settings here that it may not work for electronics with strict voltage requirements, so test them first. But for the most part, leaving this on is not a problem. Finally, you can set whether the unit should have an auto timeout function, where if nothing is flowing through the outputs, it'll turn itself off to preserve the battery life. And you can change the timeout for the screen and timeout for the AC outputs as well. 
and then you've got firmware updates, layout features, which we won't get into, and the rest of the general things that exist inside of the settings menu. All right, that's the app, and now we're done with the boring stuff. Now let's run some tests. It might look like a black screen, but uh, the EcoFlow is still on, and we plugged all of our studio lights into it. Let's see if they turn on. Hey, that's an entire video studio running on this EcoFlow battery for 150 watts. Now that's gonna last four or five hours like that, and uh, that's pretty valuable. So we know this thing can run all the basic appliances, but uh, let's try to overload it. Uh, but first, safety. All right, I have here a lovely microwave. I don't know how much power this thing can draw, but you know, they usually surge pretty high. Let's see if the EcoFlow can handle it. Well, we couldn't find a burrito, but we did have some pizza on hand. Now, you should never microwave pizza, but we're going to do it today for science. And 30 seconds should do it. And we're drawing 600 watts, seven, ooh, a little over 800 watts right now. And this thing is still going strong. Uh, you might notice there's a little bit of light flickering inside the microwave. So maybe don't try this at home. That's why we do the tests, but it's not overloading it. I wonder if it's almost ready. Will it be hot? Will it be delicious? We'll find out. Ooh, crackling. Quite hot, but I'm not gonna eat it. Now let's try to really overload this thing. Just got to the cabin after a long drive and you take this thing out and you need to charge your phone. So take your phone, plug it into USB-C. All right, we're charging. And it shows you right here that there's currently 11 watts going into my phone. But uh, you gotta plug in your laptop too because maybe you got a meeting in like a couple of hours. So you plug it in here, turn on the AC outlets, and now the laptop's charging. And we are currently drawing 14 watts. So, oh, 72. But the kids wanna play video games. You got the Nintendo Switch and this monitor to play on. Plugging them in too. All right, and now we're drawing up 99 watts. So this is still we get one eighth of what this thing can, can put out. Well, we got the iPad charging, but the kids need a little bit of mood lighting for their video game sesh. So let's plug that in. So with 112 watts of power draw, you might get about six hours of uh, battery life out of the 768 watt hours that are inside this battery. But you might not want to use it all because you know it gets cold later at night and you might want to plug in a heater. Okay, let's have some fun. Uh, we've still got the fire extinguisher at the ready, but we also have this. It's a 1500 watt heater. Let's say you're back in that cabin and it's getting cold at night. You and the kids need to stay warm. You gotta crank it. 700 watts, 800 watts, and oh, we're still at over 800 watts. 830, back down to 733. It's very warm. I'm feeling the warmth, and we can't overload this thing. I did notice that the fan speed dropped down a bit. Yeah. <laughs> it seems to be limited by the uh, ability of the EcoFlow to put out power, but it's still making heat. So, so far it might seem like I've been gushing about the River 2 Pro from EcoFlow. And it's a really great battery, but it does have some drawbacks. For one, it doesn't have a wireless phone charging pad like some of the other options on the market. Uh, it doesn't have any place to store the cord, so you know, keep track of it. Um, and it is somewhat more expensive than other options. But the benefits are great. It is portable, it's lightweight, it's made by a great uh, company, it doesn't have a charging brick, so you don't have to carry around a separate AC adapter. And uh, it does a lot for a portable. If you really need more power and more storage, you're looking at this thing's bigger brother. So let's take a look at that now. This thing is really hard to film because this side looks nice, but it doesn't have anything on it. This side has all the USB ports and the main power button and the screen. The back side has the six uh, AC outputs, the DC card charging output, and I can't open it. <laughs> and uh, also has the solar input. And the back has the expansion ports. But for now, we're just gonna angle it this way and get into the features. 
The Delta II Max has 2,048 watt hours of storage. That's just over two kilowatt hours or like maybe a hundred phone charges in there. And it can put out 2,400 watts continuously and it can surge up to 3,400 watts. So unlike the River models, the Delta models are expandable. They come with two battery expansion slots, which can each connect to another two kilowatt hour battery for a total of six kilowatt hours. And these stack vertically and they hold a lot of power. Again, that's like 300 phone charges, but more realistically, it's like you're gonna power your home with this for several hours in an outage. And especially if you have a way to recharge it with solar, you will be able to power it for maybe, maybe several days. Delta II Max can also do UPS mode, which is a backup mode that keeps your sensitive electronics running even when the power goes down. So you plug in the AC cord to the wall, you plug in everything else you want to keep running into the six outlets in the back. They stay running when the power goes down. And there's less than a 20 millisecond switch over time between when the grid goes down and your devices stay running. So the Delta II Max has two solar inputs that can each accept up to 500 watts of solar power and that can charge the full battery from zero to 100 in a little over you know, two hours. Now, the coolest thing about this is that you can charge it from solar and AC at the same time. We got 1,000 watts of solar, 1,800 watts of AC, and EcoFlow says you can combine those to charge from zero to 80% in about 43 minutes, which is pretty impressive. Like the river, this doesn't have a power brick. It has just a cord that plugs into the wall. It's very simple, and this is a standard cord you can even buy in a hardware store if you need to replace it. EcoFlow advertises this at 50 pounds. We weighed it and found that it was about 52 pounds. Uh, they also advertise the river a little low, so that's just kind of the average. Um, but this thing isn't too hard to lift if you need to. And uh, you know, it's pretty easy to carry around for all the power you get. So now we know this thing can put out the full 1500 watts that this heater needs. But with a two kilowatt hour battery, it's only gonna last for an hour or an hour and 15 minutes. But still, that's pretty impressive. So what I like about this guy is it's got high capacity. It doesn't have a power brick. It uh, is full featured with lots of different ports to charge from, expandable so you can use it in your house, use it as an EPS, UPS backup. Uh, what I don't like about it again, no Qi charging, no wireless phone charging on it. There's no place to store the cord, just like on the River 2 Pro. And it's somewhat more expensive uh, than other batteries in the market about the same size. But from what I've seen, EcoFlow is a great company. The app experience is wonderful and uh, everything about this battery impresses me. So EcoFlow uh, says, as an interesting aside, that these that this uh, battery may qualify for the 30% energy storage tax credit. Now that's a federal tax credit that the government offers to people who buy energy storage systems that they hook into their house. But this guy, in order to qualify for it, you have to add at least one expansion battery because the minimum size for that is three kilowatt hours. And you have to have it hooked into a main panel in your house. After playing with these things for a little while now, uh, here are my quick thoughts. The uh, $600, River 2 Pro is great if you're just going out for a day or one night camping. It'll keep all your devices charged. It'll keep you connected to the internet if you need to be. And it'll even do some other fun stuff. You're going on it for a week. You need something bigger. You need something that has a little more capabilities. This is the guy to go with. And honestly, it's expandable enough that you can even use it in an off-grid cabin or in your home. Full disclosure, EcoFlow sent these products to us for testing. And since then, Solar Reviews has become an EcoFlow affiliate. That means if you buy something from their website after clicking on one of the links in the description below, we may receive a commission. But our reviews and recommendations are based only on our independent testing and use of these products. And we maintain 100% editorial independence. Thanks for hanging out with us today and covering these. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you're interested in more videos like this. And uh, have a good one.